So we're going to look at Pro Tools and EQ and I thought I'd start with a little spectrum analyzer that you can see that is analyzing the EQ of my voice but I'm going to do a quick analysis of the reference track. There's a dip at about 180. Now this is quite a popular move to try and unmuddy the bass. So I'm going to mimic that and I'm also going to add an EQ boost at 80 hertz because when I was listening to my track on different systems, I thought that the kick drum was sounding a bit hollow and I was just going to give it a little bit more thud. I've added these two EQs at 80 hertz gain and I think frequency would have been it's actually about 200 or maybe a little bit more than 200 I reckon for this one and I might make it a little bit tighter Yeah, let's have a listen. You can really hear that when the bass comes in with the kick it's really made a difference let's bypass it Yeah, it's definitely made the kick in the bass sound a little bit more complimentary. So yeah, I'm going to keep those two changes. And another two changes I've made, I, another one is something that I noticed in some reference systems that I was listening the snare and the, hat, the hats and the, the claps were starting to take out my ears a bit they were getting a little bit papery standing out too much so I made a little EQ here just a negative one around 2.8 kilohertz and I also added something that I love um it's a little stereo enhancer for me like is adding a little bit of air because I love how that makes the vocal sound. It starts, it really feels like they're whispering in your ear almost. So we're going to listen to the EQ again. And this time we're going to try and pay attention to the um, claps and hi-hats and the vocal with these new EQ changes. Okay, and now we're going to listen to it with the EQ off. And we're going to listen to the claps and hats again, okay? It's 
So yeah, I think it's definitely pulled those sounds together. Um, and you can see that very minor changes, but with mastering a stereo track, making these small changes can make quite a difference once you get used to the he hearing them. So that's EQ. Next up is compression.